Hey, what's up party people? Dennis the Prescott here. I've never met a taco I didn't love and that's what we're crushing this week, homemade barbacoa tacos. All right, y'all, I'm super stoked. Tacos are amazing. I legitimately could eat tacos any day of the week. Forget Taco Tuesday, I mean, don't forget Taco Tuesday. It's amazing. I mean, rock tacos every day of the week. These tacos take a little bit of extra time in the oven to get the beef all ready to go, but that gives you a ton of time to scratch make tortillas, to get a nice salsa ready, and then you're legit gonna have a home run taco night. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get our beef all ready to go. We've got about a four pound chuck roast here, anywhere between three pounds and five pounds is gonna get you nice and sorted. We're gonna take any of the excess fat off of this, trim it up, and then cut it into small kind of cubes. We're gonna season this this well with salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil in a pan, and then we're gonna brown that off before we add our sauce. So while the beef is sizzling and bubbling and browning away in that pan, we're gonna grab a blender and we're gonna make our braising liquid. All right, so blender time. Literally the easiest step in the world. You're just gonna chuck everything in this blender, waz it up, and then you're all set. Go in with garlic, onion, lime juice, chipotles, adobo sauce, cumin, oregano, ground cloves, beef stock, cider vinegar, canned green chilies, then season well with salt and pepper and blend until smooth. Combine the blender liquid with the beef, add bay leaves and fresh thyme, then transfer to the oven. Allow that to cook in the oven for about three and a half to four hours or until it's easily shreddable with two forks. The beef is doing its thing. Like I said, it's gonna be in there for about three and a half or four hours. So you've got plenty of time to make your homemade tortillas. So let's just chill on tortillas here for a quick second. Literally every grocery store in the entire world, or pretty much, has tortillas for sale. And they're all right, and you can definitely use those. But legit, from the moment you make your first scratch-made tortillas, you're never gonna go back. It's totally worth it. It's worth taking that extra time and effort. Really, it's pretty quick and easy to throw together in a very few ingredients. I guarantee you probably have these ingredients in your house already, and you've gotta wait for that beef to cook anyway. So it's well worth your time. Make your own tortillas, scratch make them. It's well worth the effort. So basically all we're gonna do is to a large bowl, we're gonna add flour. We've got about two cups of all-purpose flour here. We're gonna go in with some salt, nice sea salt. We're gonna go in with baking powder. We're gonna hit that with a little bit of olive oil. You could use lard, you could use butter. I'm gonna use olive oil today. And then we want some hot boiling water. And we're gonna go in with this. And then you're gonna take a fork and basically mix this all around until it starts to come together. When it starts to come together, we're gonna turn that out onto a floured surface and then knead that until it forms a really nice elasticy dough ball. So when the dough is ready and has come together, wrap it in plastic wrap, leave it on a warm counter, and let it rest and relax for about 30 minutes. So after the dough has rested and relaxed, you're gonna end up with something like this. It's a super easy to work with dough, amazing, perfect for tortillas. Next, what we're gonna do is break this off into about 10 pieces, roll them out into tortillas, and then cook those off in a hot cast iron pan. Divide the dough into equal portions, then roll them out into nice, thin tortillas. Heat a cast iron pan over medium heat, then cook the tortillas for a couple minutes on each side until perfectly golden brown. So the beef is almost ready to go. The tortillas are all cooked and they're ready. The next thing we wanna do is whip up this chunky pineapple avocado salsa. Basically all we're gonna do is in a bowl, we're gonna combine some diced pineapple. We're gonna go in with some nice chunky fresh, delicious, creamy avocado. We're gonna hit that with some red onions, a nice bit of fresh cilantro that we've diced up here. Go over top of that with a little bit of lime juice, season with salt, give that a mix and then you're all set. So the last thing you wanna do when your beef is all cooked and ready to go, shred it with two forks. It's gonna look something like this and then you wanna hit it with just a nice bit of finishing salt. We are ready, I am super stoked. We're gonna build this taco. We're gonna go onto these fresh tortillas with a nice bit of this barbacoa beef. Don't be stingy, hit that hard with that. We're gonna go on with this nice chunky salsa right in the middle. Super delicious, refreshing. It's amazing and not everybody's had a pineapple salsa before so it's incredible if you haven't. Over top of that we're gonna hit this. This is a quick little spiked sour cream I made. Sour cream, 
chili powder, a little salt and pepper, and lime juice. It's amazing. It takes your sour cream to the next level and it takes no time. Super easy. We're gonna hit that on top, just a nice little dollop. And then last but not least, a little bit more of this fresh cilantro. And boom, you've got taco night. Oh, hell yes, y'all. Whoo! That is taco, I, I, need, I need a minute here. That is taco night done right. You guys should make this recipe, like legit tonight. You should go home and make this recipe. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you guys aren't part of this community already, smash that subscribe button. We'll see you next week for more deliciousness.